What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks, been really busy. Not going to get into all that spiel. It's not a big deal. It's just work, nothing more. Let's just jump right into this video. I saw this on Facebook, and I saw this photo that showed what looked like arrows pointing to a center or a pot of this flat rock. Now, I'm going to show you that photo right here. Now, this is the photo. You can see it. And he's got the arrows here pointed right here. And there is an actual circle. Well, that's nothing more than a drill site. Uh, I can show you right here. You can see you have the tool arm right here with the drill pretty close to or on the rock. What caught my attention, and you're going to see it when I go back to the photo, is this object way in the background. You can see it, just barely see it on the ground right here. I'm going to put it right there at the center of the screen, right here. I'm going to go around it with the cursor slowly. Now, it doesn't look like much. The problem with it is the tool head is in the way of something else to the right of this item. There's something else on the side here. And you don't see it in the photo. Hmm, interesting how that works. What they do is they have like several photos of this one area. And every time you look at the three photos, there's something different or something missing or added. Just weird, right? Anyway, so let me back up to this photo here. What caught my eye, again, was these two items. I'm going to put them right here. Again, I'm going to go slowly around with the cursor. And you can see right here these two items. What are these things sticking out of the ground right here? And what is this on the lower right corner? It has like this weird frame type thing too. Let's jump into Photoshop, have a closer look. All right, so now what I'm going to show you now is a side-by-side -side of this photo, the stock, and then how AI interprets it. Let's have a look at that. Okay. I've got arrows here pointed on the right-hand side. You can see these two objects. You don't see the third one yet because I don't have it in the photo on this one. But you can see how it sees it. If my Paradolia was playing games with me, I would say it looks like two cars side-by-side. -side. That'll look like they're just from the door up is what you see. It's like the rooftop and maybe the window openings or whatever. I'm not saying that's what this is. I don't know what these things are. And again, we could never vet what these things are anyway, right? All right, let's have another look. This time I did my own enhancing, and this is what I come up with. You have the green circle, and just look at whatever that is. Yellow circle to the right. Again, we have this other thing that's very similar, not identical. And we have something much smaller, like next to this rock. So the question is, what are we looking at? Here's another photo. A little bit more enhanced and the reason why I did a little more enhanced because a lot of times they'll make these areas look flat and you can see the blurring right here and here it's like they purposely pixelate an area too if they now I understand the low-res photo of course right you're gonna see all kinds of pixelation all kinds of artifacts in the photo I get that and what they do is they put like a light blurring if you will that's still transparent and it makes it look like it's completely flat areas and it's not so when I saw this right here, these two objects in the back, this one here, and of course, again, on the right-hand side, this one right here in the circle, I'm saying to myself, what are these and why are they buried in the sand? What could these things be? Is the original again? Enhanced by AI. And again, you can see it's not the greatest picture at all, but the way it sees it, and something tells me there's something here as well. Let me show you this right here. This right here. They completely whiten that out, and it almost has that weird look to it too, where you see it goes like this, goes across, and of course this is all blocked in. God only knows what this is. But it looks like there's more than one of these objects that almost have the same shapes buried in the sand. What could they be? Again, here we go. Enhanced. That I enhanced it. Again, it's not that far off from what uh, AI had done, right? Right there. So, you know, compared to this, there's not a whole lot of difference. However, I have it darker, a little bit more detail. And then I tried to really get into these areas and try to figure out what these are. Now, something tells me there's something way in the bottom here as well on this rock. If you look right here, it looks like there's something there. I'm going to zoom in. 
right there. Look at this little circle within a circle, and you can see these pieces going like this. Underneath that, something tells me this is not quite a rock either. See that? Right in there. Something tells me this is not just a rock. This may be something else. Is this buried technology? Is it some kind of vehicles of some sort? I don't know. I don't know the answer. If we back up here, you can see the shadow of Curiosity Rover, right? And if I had to guess from the actual rover itself, from this edge of this rock right here, to the rover itself, back here down at the bottom, it's probably 5 to 10 feet or roughly 3 meters. So, again, what are we looking at? Are these some kind of framework here? Is it some kind of machinery? It doesn't look like simple rock. Again, on the left-hand side, we can see these objects. This is completely stock photo. And on the right, we can see this. Here's what I want you to have a look at, too. I'm just going to draw this straight arrow down to this white area. Okay, you can see it right here. Okay, that's completely gone here, except when you look at this, you actually can still see it. Right here, very, very faintly. I don't know if you folks will see this. Right here. You can still see that right in here. Take this away. They literally drew this in order to hide this whole area right here. And again, if we were to do this where it's actually, they had the white drawn in, and we'll go back to the left-hand side. You can see it right here. It's like they were trying to draw that in, but AI seen otherwise. Back it up. Again, I'm not sure why nobody's seen the background. All they saw was this drilled hole. I don't know if they thought it was something special. I see a drilled hole. But there's all kinds of things here, like on the right-hand side. Look at this thing here. It looks like they went like this with this, with this gray, this dark gray. went like this. But you can still see something on this end and something on the other end right here. Let me show you what I'm talking about. It looks like it's doing this. like this and there's a darker circle right there see that they literally try to take things out of these photos which i think is absolutely crazy but we're already privy to that right it's not even a big deal anymore we know that they're literally centering these photos so let me show you this one last time this is the original again these items and the one here on the lower right, right hand side, AI enhanced, my enhancement. I don't know how big these things are based on when we look at the, again, the rover where it's at. And again, let's say from here to here, from the base of the rover, not the actual shadow. Are we talking about five to 10 feet? Again, maybe three meters roughly, give or take. And then how far are these from here to the back, from that point to the, to the back area? How big are these items? There you go, folks. Like I guess I just do this one here. Zoom in just a hair bit. And there you are. Folks, I don't know what we're looking at here. I don't know if this is uh, just strange frames that are stuck in the dirt. Like I said, if it was my pareidolia running wild, I can say they look like tops of cars sticking out of the ground. Now, based on the distance from where they're at to the edge of that rock and then from that rock to the rover, how big are these things? How big were the beings that lived on that planet? Were they half our size? And I emphasize, if they were vehicles, would that make sense? Half the size, half the size of their vehicles. Now, some people will laugh and say, well, why the hell would they be driving cars? And I don't mean in a stricter sense like cars like we have here. 
And if they were similar, that doesn't mean they're powered the same way. They could be anything. Uh, they could be powered in any other way. Nitrogen, uh, electric. It could be anything that these things are powered by. We don't know. I've speculated before that I think maybe the civilization where we are at now, they were there about 100 to 200 years ago. Now, is that true? I don't know. Is it possible as long as that, farther back? I don't believe that it was. So the question stands, what are we looking at? Are they nothing more than weird framed items just sticking in the ground? They just happen to be sticking out a little bit? That's a very good possibility. They don't look like rocks to me. When we analyze it, it looks like frameworks of something. And the other one to the right and to the edge of the photo, it looks like a smaller version of the bigger things. What are we looking at? Folks, drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think. I'm don't forget to like and share the video. It is always appreciated. You folks know that. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Folks, I also got another cool one coming up. Actually, I got about three coming up. But the next one is going to be Antarctica. And you're going to love this. This has got some really wild looking things going on. And what's funny about this, this photo is that, guess what? It's been censored too. And I'm going to get into that and explain why it would be censored. Well, I don't think I have to explain it to you, but you get what I mean. I'll explain a little bit in depth why they do this. And then I'm going to reveal what I saw. Anyway, stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. Always appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace.